It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and this video is all about Tenebris, the events, the you know the guide, the ev everything that I have as an initial expression of Tenebris. We don't have any of the big fights yet; those will come in the next day or so. I just kind of wanted to cover the event and everything, uh, just kind of holistically, so we have it for a posterity's sake. And by the way, this is a giveaway video. I am uh, I'm giving away five packages to five lucky winners all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section down below tell me how you feel about tenebris are you going to use her are you going to skip her do you like this event do you hate this event or three events tell me how you feel about the brawl today you know anything like that but i need your account id as well five lucky winners we're going to draw in a few days i believe uh the uh, the, the 15th later on in the afternoon we'll draw five winners and those five winners will get some some fun titan leveling resources from the community managers and because this is somewhat of a sponsored video just full transparency i am getting a, uh, I'm getting a, a good amount of uh, Tenebrous Soul Stones. We're going to quickly go ahead and summon. There we go. Comes in at three star, and I should have enough here to evolve to a five star. Boom, there we go. And the last 1500 we'll have to earn on our own. Now, we've already done a full video discussing Tenebris's abilities and all of that, but she's gonna be a Titan that you're gonna wanna have. These abilities, the ability to manage energy, similar to Jorgen, and by the way, Jorgen is a very, very strong hero. The ability to manage energy, I think, cannot be understated. I think it's the most valuable thing outside of Titan healing most valuable thing probably in titan pvp that we've seen in a long time so we're just going to level her up a little bit we're going to have to get a couple of more uh titan xp potions to get her uh, the uh, the rest of the way there but we're going to spin what we have uh, we've been saving up for just a you know just a little bit going to get her leveled up as far as we can and then of course we've got some uh titan skins we want to level up she only has the one skin now but she will get a second skin pretty soon it's kind of hard to see in this uh dashboard here because she's so large but she does already have a champion skin uh, on Hero Wars Dominion Era. That's the Facebook and web version of the game. So I would expect a, a, a Tenebris and Solaris skin to be coming soon now that they're both revealed. Let's go ahead and crank her up just a little bit more. That will do it. So let's kind of close out of there. So there we go. There is our Tenebris so far. 25k power level. We got a lot of work to do. The artifacts leveling up. We'll, uh, we'll deal with this in just a little bit as well. I want to talk a little bit about some of the things having to do with this pile of events and there are three events first and foremost i want to talk about the shop okay i want to talk about the shop the thing that i would recommend you buy out of the shop first and foremost is the chest of seals the chest of seals contains materials to level up your titan artifacts no matter the element we're talking darkness for tenebris we're talking fire earth water uh light of course all of those seals artifact seals for evolving those artifact seals those can be found in this chest of seals second place thing that i would recommend is the fire water or earth and i only recommend those obviously if you're leveling up those specific element teams there is no way in hero wars alliance anywhere outside of these chests a way to directly purchase the artifact that you want for your titan okay the seals are more important because this works for every titan right the fire water and earth obviously are just for those usually in here there is a darkness and light chest as well but it doesn't look like we have we have this darkness chest which has a random chance of stuff in it the grand prize i guess is the titan skin stones at 25 uh 2500 but those are the two items that i would recommend you do uh beyond that you know, Titan artifact spheres are pretty good. Fairy dust, I hear, is something people are going to consider. No Titan or uh, uh, hero skin stones in here, but it is worth mentioning, buying any of these items is going to save you a ton of time. Just a ton of time leveling up your color rank of your heroes. Some of these have a higher efficiency than others. The big ones that I would recommend you buy into if you are going to buy hero items, Lycanthrope Fangs, Lamort's Map, Alchemist Set, and uh, any of these big ones down here, the Unity of Extremes, the Song of the Valkyries, or the Key to All Doors, the, these more expensive ones also, they, they will save you literal months of farming if you don't buy 
uh, if you don't buy energy every day, if you don't buy uh, extra items from the Rarity Fair or all that uh, every day, it's going to save you a ton of time. The Brawl tokens are the energy to use in the Brawl fight. Excuse me, there's not a Brawl shop. All right, so let's quickly discuss the various, uh, the three events that we have. They're all four day long events coinciding with the four day Emerald sale. There is a discount being applied to different chests throughout the, uh, throughout the four days as well. Right now we have the Outland chest and the Titan Summoning Spheres, but later on we'll have Titan Artifact chests and other chests that are going to be discounted. So uh, spending emeralds today is ideal. So you get access to that 55% uh, discount on the Outland chest. But uh, if you'd rather spend your emeralds on the Titan artifacts or the uh, big money blue balls and the altar of elements, as I like to call it, then that's going to be, that sale is going to be coming up very soon as well. So taking a look at these three separate events, this one has seven tasks. The VIP resets every day. You have spend emeralds, spend energy, complete total quests in this, uh, I'm sorry, complete quests in the endless dark chain this one is complete quests in the dance of shadows chain and then you have participate in brawl fights now you're going to get a ton of different materials too much to really go over here but the main thing that you're going to be trying to chase is this hero hero's waypoints obviously hero's way is going to be where you're going to get the majority of the uh, uh of the tenebrous artifact fragments so be mindful if you were thinking about leveling up tenebrous you're gonna have to go deep in that hero's way reward track both the free to play and the golden ticket side if you will the only one of these that resets is the spend energy task this one will reset over and over and of course generous soul will reset every single day now the sub events as uh, we could call it they're very similar and they have a bunch of different kinds of rewards you can just see all the different kinds of rewards. a lot of these darkness coins um, a lot of the uh, heroes way points the brawl tokens is you know where we're going to be focused on for those for those brawl fights we have another score vip so double dipping built in completed every day this resets every day Arn guild activity open outland chests this one does not reset Okay, so this one typically does reset, but opening 350 chests during this four-day event is not going to be unheard of. It's actually going to be uh, probably uh, expected if you're a uh, higher-end player. Unfortunately, this time around, no uh, Hero's Way points tied to it, which is kind of a bummer, but it is a way to get a, a good amount of, of the artifact weapon fragments, the Neftis' Reaper. We have Collect Titanites, and then finally, uh, Complete Summonings in the Summon Circle. This one resets over and over and over again, so it's a nice little dump for Titan Summoning Spheres. And then the other sub-event, Dance of Shadows, Login, Triple Dipping on the Login, uh, Score VIP, Triple Dipping on Score VIP. This one resets every day. We have Tower, Does Not Reset set we have open elemental sphere this one can be uh, re uh, reset over and over and over again open as many titan artifact spheres as you want remember the titan artifact spheres do not contain tenebrous artifacts yet so it's kind of a good kind of a bad if you do open those we have grand arena and then of course we have hydra head fighting all of that is going to contribute various resources to level up tenebrous or other darkness or other titans uh, as well as the event coins and the uh, the brawl tokens the brawl energy is what we're going to be using in the actual brawl now you are not locked in on your titan brawl usually on events like this you're required to use a specific titan and i would recommend that you use tenebrous in this event i think some of the best teams to use against all elemental the base elemental teams just about any light and darkness team will be fine but if you get into a, a defense that has uh, a bunch of light and darkness on there you're going to need a little bit of nuance a little bit of strategy and we're definitely going to work on that we will need to come up with like the number one brawl team to use we definitely have to make that video and we will that look for that video in the next little bit but uh, let me know in the comment section down below the teams that you're planning on using tenebrous with or if you're planning on using tenebrous at all and uh, we will be discussing it in our live stream uh, every single day the schedule is on screen now hope everybody's having a great day i love you all good luck in dominion